going to read a famous story in the Bible, in Luke 16. Maybe you can guess what I'm talking about. The rich man and Lazarus. <coughs> now, a lot of people today think that this is a uh, parable. So they kind of say, I don't mean it. Well, one thing, let me just add, tell you something. In most parables, it'll, it would say, God would say before that, and he, or the Bible would say, and he spake a parable saying. Another thing, most parables, really I don't remember any parable, having named people in it. Most of it would say, the steward, the, uh, the, the uh, husbandman, the, the, the rich man, or whatever. It would have, they would just call them by a little title. They would never name, they would not name characters. Nobody was named in the uh, parables. But this one here has named people. Now, the rich man is not named, but Lazarus is named, and Abraham is named. It, again, it doesn't have an introduction of saying this is a parable. It just starts off there as a certain rich man. Again, most and parables also are, I, there are illustrations that have a deeper meaning and a deeper, you know, they have a deeper meaning and a deep truth. This, this what, I don't, I like, if, it, if this story has a truth to it, I like to really know it. Because I don't see anything. I don't see what you can get out of it other than what it says. So, it's not a parable. It is the literal truth. This happened. I don't know when. Excuse me. I don't know when this happened. I don't know when it happened. It may have happened during Jesus' lifetime when he was here. It may have happened. This may have been something that happened before he was born. I don't know. But it did happen, whatever it was. It happened before he died on the cross because Abraham's bosom, this is a... Lazarus was taken to paradise. <clears throat> so it happened before he died on the cross and rose again. So, it, you know, it didn't happen then. But, um, again, now I know you're probably looking at me like, what's this story have to do with anything? Well, this rich man died and goes to hell. Where's, where's the irresistible grace for him? I know according to some of you would say, well, he wasn't elect. Well, he wasn't elect. And Lazarus, I know Lazarus was elect and Abraham was, but the rich man wasn't. Well, he's, well, I'm just going to read what he says. Listen to this. Verse 19, Luke 16, 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain rich beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Lazarus afar off, and, Ab and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And said Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. <clears throat> but Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from the hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house, for I have five brethren, and that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father, this is, a, this is the critical verse for this. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If, thou hear, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. How about that one? Verse 30 said that if you would, send, if they would, if you would show them that a man that one went unto them from the dead, they would, would, would repent. He is basically saying that, the rich man, is saying that I have five brethren, I want you to send Lazarus to them and, sh that, and show that he raised from the dead, that they might repent and be saved. Because he's basically saying right there, the rich man is basically knows, he's like, if I just repented of my sins, I wouldn't be here. I'm in, the, I'm in hell, in this place of torment, because I didn't repent. He's not there because he was rich. He's not there because he's rich. He's not there because he wasn't one of the elect. He wasn't there because, he, because God didn't die for him. He wasn't there because the grace didn't reach him. And because God didn't send him here just with grace. Or because the grace wasn't strong enough or that kind of stuff. It's because he didn't repent of his sins. 
He didn't call upon the name of the Lord and say, I want to be saved, Lord. Please save me. I'm sorry. I want to repent of my sins and be saved. He didn't repent He didn't repent of his deeds. He kept going the way he was going, and he died and went to hell. This man in hell knows that and is saying it. I, got, I'm, I, I should have repented. I'll be saved. He said, send Lazarus that my five brethren in my father's house might repent and not come to this place of torment. Abraham tells him if he won't hear if they won't if they won't hear Moses and the prophets they won't be persuaded the man rose from death. So he's basically saying if they don't hear them they can't get saved. They ain't gonna repent if they don't hear the Moses and the prophets. So he's basically saying repent of your sins or go to hell. How about that? This the rich man is basically refuting the election and predestination. This predestination not election but predestination or not the not election that. That I know, the, the election of the Bible is a whole is different than the predestination and Calvinism election. But it's, that this that story, what what the rich man says, and it's true, re rebukes the predestination, limited atonement, and his irresistible grace. Because if it was irresistible grace, this man just said that he was one of the that he was he could have been one of the elect, but he died went to hell and made his own choice. If irresistible grace was true and would hold ever and would draw everybody away and and they couldn't help but get saved. Then this man would have never went to hell. See how stupid this stuff is? It makes actually no sense. You just you see how stupid Calvinism is? Just these they just they just come up they just people these people just come up with all their own their own little doctrines. I'm gonna finish this up with Romans one. 